we have more talk here of picking up these mystery signals from deep space. To me, there seems to be a theme they're pushing across the globe in terms of space. Space force, space ports, lakes on Mars, missions to the moon. And now they're saying they have picked up for the first time ever one of these fast radio bursts below 700 megahertz. And they did so on July 25th. Was there more to it? There always is. But all we're being told, for anyone even paying attention, it seems like everyone else out here is off in La La Land. They are dropping breadcrumbs all around, signifying where this is going. And for those that missed it in all the other talks, there's a reason every planet in our solar system has a unique marking at 19.5 degrees. Neptune has it. We have it here on Earth. Mars has it. The great red spot on Jupiter. How come every Apollo mission they've landed at 19.5 degrees? How come China, when they just went to the moon, they landed at 19.5 degrees? Is anyone paying attention? You have to stop sometimes and look at the bigger picture. There's something going on, and they've just detected frequencies at a unique range that they've never detected before. And of course, they say that these come from an unknown source out there in the universe. This is all they're saying. And once again, it's just being thrown out there for anyone that has the eyes and the ears to pick up this information and to see that, okay, this is just another puzzle piece. It's starting to help us see this larger picture that's emerging of where they're taking this. It's more than just the talk of doing all this. There's something coming in the offing in terms of space, whether it be huge announcements one after another, or they just slowly start to ramp up the information that they're dumping on the masses. Now, to me, there is a super highway out there of life, and you're looking at Lasco, C2 and C3. Do you see this? Anyone want to explain to me what all these objects are going right around our sun that seemingly is not affected by our sun? When any known comet, rock, ice, anything comes around our sun, anywhere close to our solar system, it is pulled toward it. This is a super highway. Right in front of your eyes. Of life. And for those that missed it, I showed it in a video in 2015 where I caught it in my own backyard and you can too. And if you want to get past your neighbors and everyone else at work or people calling you crazy, well, that's a choice you're going to have to make. Until they step out in their backyard and they catch it themselves and they find and they see what I just showed you here, this vast array of life around the sun can be seen from Earth. And I'll have a link below so you can check out the whole 25-minute video but it's toward the end where the goods are. But I want you to see what a bird looks like. I want you to see what objects way out there look like in comparison. Notice the aircraft that you cannot see. All you can see is the trails. It's not even reflective. The aircraft, it's not sh all shiny, giving off some huge glow at all. You just mainly see the trail. And look at that. You can see the plumes. It's almost like a ghost aircraft. You can't even hardly make it out. And it's surely not reflective. And at 9.56, you can just barely start to make out a dark shape there that shows that, well, there's the plane. But it's not giving off a huge reflection. And you can see what it looks like in terms of distance. And how far out this is. This is what a butterfly looks like. And this over here is another bird way up in the sky flying. And you can see it come into frame right there. It's not reflective. And that is a bird. Okay. And you can tell any of the closer bugs. See the butterfly that went by? You can see its proximity to everything. And yes, depending on where you're at, you will have different bugs and creatures in the atmosphere. And if you have any that are flying close to the camera, you're going to be able to tell. And you're going to be able to tell 
that they're bugs in the atmosphere. You're going to see this. You're going to know this. You're going to pick them up, and you're going to see that it's close in frame. Okay? I just showed you what all kinds of objects look like. Okay? None of them being reflective. None of them interacting with the sun until this one. And this guy, not only does he approach the sun, circle the sun, interact with the sun, he brightens as he gets closer to the sun, letting you know he is out there next to it. The people can make excuses all they want, I commend those that go to the backyard and they, they see with their own eyes. And you're going to see, like I said, other stuff that could be ruled out as bugs that could be closer. And you're going to see a ton of other stuff that are out there that is unexplainable. You can try to say it's bugs, but it's not bugs at 30, 40, 50, 60,000 feet. It's not bugs interacting with the sun. See it come back down? Did you just see it dive back down toward the sun? And it comes back out the other side. This object is, look at it, faded. It is way out there. And it is interacting with the sun. It is amazing. Here it is again in the top. Here, let me just redo this where it comes into the frame. Here it is, coming up into the frame. Look at that. I have to pause that. Look at that. I know there's other object in the frame. Look at that. It brightened as it got up next to the sun. This is one of the most amazing bits of footage I've ever captured. And this whole sequence shows you that it's interacting with the sun. It's centered around the sun, not around the end of this stick, as some people trying to make lame excuses are going to try to claim. As I've shown you everything else, there were no bugs around the stick at all, uh, swarming it. That's the closest that anyone can try to come to explain to you and take away from all this. Do you see this? This is what you're seeing. A fraction of it. Yes, you are. And people can keep making excuses all they want because it's there. Atmosphere makes it hard to see. But I'm telling you, these objects are there. They are on the cusp of a big announcement, I feel. We've seen these same objects getting bucked at, like blasted at on NASA footage that's out there. And they tried to say, oh, it was dust particles and, and jet engines kicked on and, and none of it made any sense. It literally looked like they were shooting at objects. And you can see this in your own backyard on a clear day. I'm telling you. It's the same thing. Same thing. And there's a reason why they don't show you frame by frame over here. They never will. They never will. Because if they did it in real time, which they could do, they could give you every frame. They won't do it. They will not do it. Because the day they do, you're going to see what's going on in totality. You're going to see every frame of every one of these objects, every spin, every curve, every everything, every slowdown, turning on a dime. You're going to see all of it. There's no way all of this is rock and ice and meteors and everything else. How come it's not affected by our sun? Oh, it's too close or it's too far away. You're telling me all this is too far away. Even if it was between the camera and the sun, it can't be too far away. It would still be in our solar system. Excuses, excuses. You can let this life pass you by and stay in the dark on all of it. Or you can open your eyes. You can look to the skies. And you can see something is going on. So to me, in the end, I'll sum it up like this. I feel that they are definitely priming the masses for something in the coming years. They're doing it slowly. And if you really care and you don't feel like you know, waiting any longer, you can get out there and you can find the truth. If you want to be someone that's held down by what other people say, well, that's your own choice. Okay? You can go out there and grab some amazing footage yourself. And like I said, there's going to be other stuff out there. You got to weed through the crap and then you'll end up getting a gem like this one that blows all the other questions out of the water. Then if people want to keep making excuses, you know that they're just fishing for excuses. And they don't want to know the truth. That's on them. I'm, that's on you. You walk your path. You take that route. You can never say no one ever came along and showed you. 
what was going on in our own skies. You have to have the eyes to see and the want to know the truth. It's all around us. I'll leave a link, multiple links, so you can check out this video clip, the original one, and read in to this article that they left here in terms of uh, these signals. What did the signal carry? Well, it carried a lot more with that frequency, I'm sure. A lot can be decoded from these things, but they're only going to serve the masses what they want in a timely fashion. So don't forget that. And expect more announcements of, of other things. So links below. Underground World News Live, Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. Till next time, this has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies, if you're wise.